Hi guys and welcome to my studio. I am Jennifer Balsamo and today I want to show you how I usually refine the back of my tapestries. So are you curious to know how I do it? Just please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. So here we go. This is the back of the tapestry. And I know it looks like a big mess, but I can assure you that before it was even worse. So I've been clean up a lot. And yeah, the first thing I want to do before starting is that that is not necessary to remove all the threads, but it's really important in my opinion to remove at least the ones at the borders because they will show up once you hang the tapestry. Yeah, as you can see here and here. Yeah, I mean, we want to have an accurate work, right? So. Let's just work on it. So let's just start with one thread. Uh, here we have this couple of threads, and I just go with my friend, the needle. Same here in the other direction. I'm just going through oops, the warp which is next to the weft. I mean the weft, this one. Okay, here we go. Next step, cut them. So I personally prefer this kind of scissors instead of the ordinary because those are a bit rounded in here and are more accurate when you cut the thread. This is why I prefer them and yeah. So once you cut the thread here, it doesn't show up anymore, just is completely hide, you see? So that's why I really love them. For example, I really like to keep the threads instead of throw them away because I think they are really nice and I might use them in the future for some other project. To close my tapestry, I use the Damascus Edge, which I think it uh, fit a lot in this tapestry. So there are actually many ways to close your tapestry and you can see in my channel I have a video about the clove hitch knot which is an other way to close your tapestry and also the Damascus edge I explain in both videos how I do them and so you can just have a look in my channel uh, this is how it look at the end uh, but before I had to hide in the same way I did with the other colored threads, the white ones. So let's do this too. So as I did before with the other colored threads, I just do the same here with the warp. I just put them here inside. Yeah, I know here is much tighter because it's linen, which is much harder than wool, of course. So it takes a little bit. 
ていきたいいいよ。